How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I went to VidCon recently and in one of the arenas, they gave out these colorful bracelets like this. You can see you can just strap it onto the wrist and it emits the color. But during the concert of various performances, you'll notice that the color of your bracelet would actually change colors. This bewildered myself and also the people I was with. How the heck did they change the colors when it's just a little bracelet like this? Was it through radio frequencies? Maybe it could be the data channel on FM frequencies. However, when I took this apart, I realized that it is controlled by infrared. So I pried this thing open already, so I'm not gonna pry it open on camera. Basically, I inserted a screwdriver in here and uh, under here and under here and just kind of loosened it all around. There's a piece of tape on here already because if I don't, this whole circuit board is gonna pop out and the battery is not gonna be secure. This way I can show you that it still works uh, if I shake it. The fact that it can detect shaking means there's some sort of accelerometer or some sort of sensor that can sense a little bit of shake like this and turn on the LED accordingly. Here is one of these LED light thingies, it's from a cheapo thing, but I can use this and I'm trying to change it to a different color, but you know, I did not get lucky. Uh, you happen to have the right code, so this is kind of like a remote control. Remote controls usually use infrared LEDs, but they have a special code. So that's why one remote control from a Sony TV will not work with, let's say, a Toshiba TV. Same idea with this thing. I tried this remote just to see if I'm lucky, if I can you know, change the color of this thing, but no luck. In order to control this myself with a remote control, I'll have to figure out what kind of codes um, the originator is sending to this thing. So maybe I could have recorded it at the concert. So here's an infrared receiver and that's how I know this is a infrared receiving device. Since I cannot change the color, I'm gonna remove the tape so you can see the device better. Over here in the back is the battery. There's two batteries. Each one of these is three volts. So six volts all together. I'm gonna take this out. So this is most likely a regulator. It regulates these batteries so that it will probably output like five volts into this microprocessor. It says 81F420, so it looks like it's a microchip microprocessor. I'm not too sure. Again, this is the infrared receiver. Usually they're darker colored like this to block out visible rays. Uh, so only infrared is gonna travel through. Uh, this lens into the receiver. A surface mount RGB LED over here and two regular RGB LEDs on the side. At first glance, this cylinder thing could have been uh, maybe some sort of switch so that when you shake it, uh, it would close and then it would uh, turn on these LEDs momentarily. But uh, upon further inspection, it looks like a crystal. You need a crystal to keep accurate time so that whatever infrared rays comes down over here, it would be calibrated correctly to recognize that this infrared uh, beam coming in is at the correct frequency. Um, you need a crystal in order to do this. That's why whenever you see a microprocessor, if it needs to keep time correctly, it will have a crystal like this. This is likely um, probably a 32 kilohertz crystal and then uh, inside in here it probably multiplies it or something goes up to I don't know 4 megahertz 20 megahertz or something like that over here these little things are programming pins I think so they just clamp on to that I guess and program uh, whatever program needs to go in here so pretty simple device uh, I'm sort of saddened that uh, there's no reuse value in this because when you bring this back home um, well, you can't really use it for anything other than red, which is kind of sad. It would be nice if um, there's some way to change it into different colors or, you know, program it yourself. I actually haven't looked too hard in trying to reverse engineer this signal going in and trying to reproduce it. Simply not worth my time to do this. Uh, I probably just recycle this little board. But what I wanted to find out is the mode of operation, which is chiefly this infrared LED. Once I saw this, I'm like, oh, I, I, I know what's going on now. So we can all move on, move on with our lives and sort of know how this thing works and how um, all this colorful lights in the audience because everyone has one, uh, look so cool and uh, that's it. So thanks for watching this analysis. I'm sure some people would be interested in what the heck goes on into this bracelet. If you enjoyed this video, push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon to get more videos like these. Thanks for watching.